All right, hey everyone, I just wanted to do a quick video on how to get grounded working on the Steam Deck because um, the instructions aren't very clear and it takes some like file editing and there is like a login screen that's invisible, so it, it takes a little bit. So I wanted to do one single video that goes over the entire thing just so it's all in one place um, so people know what to do. So. With that being said, uh, the first thing you want to do is go into desktop mode on your Steam Deck and you want to open up the file explorer called Dolphin. And let me just go out of the all these quick. Um, essentially, just ignore this. What you want to do is you want to go and find the location and where your Steam library is. For example, mine is on my SD card, so it's in my removal, removable devices section and primary. So wherever your uh, Steam library is, that's where you want to go. And then you click on Steam Apps, Common, Grounded, Main, Binaries, Windows 64. And in here is the file we are looking for. The file is called speechsynthwrapper.dll. It's not going to look like this. Um, it'll it'll be speech synth wrapper .dll. What you want to do is make it look like this. You pretty much just want to change it so it says speech synth wrapper .dll .old. and then at that point the game will launch and not be stuck at the intro like the loading thing where it infinitely loads or it freezes while it's loading and that fixes single player options for people. So you can at least play single player. The second half is the multiplayer, which is kind of bugged at the moment. And it's a little bit more difficult because you have to navigate an invisible window and an invisible menu. Um, and I followed this guide right here. If you go on YouTube, type in grounded Steam Deck Xbox login. There is a one from 10 months ago. So it's been a bug for 10 months, apparently. It's three minutes, three seconds in length, and it's by Kevin Un or Kevin Kev Undead .mov. And we'll just kind of go through that really quick. All right, so yeah, but it says Grounded has a strange bug on Linux and the Xbox Live login screen. Um, so essentially, when you boot into the game, it will it will present you with a uh, you know here log into Xbox Live. What you want to do is click where this person is clicking. So there's the thing that I did specifically. Is if you notice, I'll go back a second here. Um, when they hover over the icon, the mouse changes to like a little, like a finger pointing at it. And that's how I knew I was clicking at the right thing. So you click on that little empty space right there. And this is the screen where you want to enter in your email. So it's going to be where they have that green circle. But what they tell you to do here is they say to type it in you know, from your keyboard, which I don't necessarily recommend because you can type on your keyboard without seeing what you're typing. It can become confusing and you don't know if you're entering in the right information. So at this point, what I did is I went to my desktop and I made a text file. You can name it whatever you want. doesn't really matter, but go in here and type in, you know, example at email.com right and then you type in your password and then you have this up like in the corner over here so then when you're in game let's just go back to the, the login like here right when you're in this screen and you're like okay what do I do you would first hover down to where he's hovering and then click you just click once it's not going to give you any indication that you actually clicked on anything but you want to click when the little mouse cursor turns into the text prompt um, entry thing. So like the little I right there. So you click once um, and then you would just alt tab and go to your text file that you made. And you can just copy the password and or the, the email. So I would do control C. I would go back into the login, the Xbox Live login page. And then you may have to click again. I, I didn't specify that. I'm kind of just going off of a whim on this. I apologize for that. But I would just for sort of safe measures, just go ahead and click into that box one more time and then press control V. 
And then at that point, the email is in that text box. So anything you copied will be pasted into the text box. And now you want to essentially click where the green circle is. And the one that I found the easiest way to do that is it's kind of directly below the login uh, text here. So just pretty much go to like the G I N ending of it and go all the way down until you get that little arrow or the, the little finger click icon. And that is pretty much a surefire way to click on the right button. So then after you've clicked on that, this is the screen where you have to enter in the password and it's kind of a, yeah, see, this is kind of weird and it's like, it doesn't give you a full indication of how like things are looking. Um, so in this circumstance, when you're on this screen, you will alt tab back to your text file, copy your password with control C, go back into the, uh, the password entry screen. It's not going to say your email or your enter password or show this green thing. It's really confusing. So watch what happens here. As they move their cursor down, there is one text field. It switches over a second text field and then a third text field. And that is the one you need to put your password into. So on this screen, once you've reached here, you just slowly lower your mouse down until you see the first text field, then it'll switch to the second and then the third. Once it hits the third, click into there and paste the password and then follow these steps right here. So then the final login button per se is going to be right where this green circle is. And it's a sec uh, essentially right down below the login button as well. So I'd still go to the GIN, go all the way down until you get the icon that is showing here, this little like click with the finger, click on it. And then it goes to this final last screen here where it could be either black background or this like um, maroon background. The final step to get it working is to go just straight on down from the live almost towards the bottom. I would probably go all the way to the bottom and then just go back up until you get that click icon. Hit that and you will be successfully logged into Xbox Live. If it doesn't say it up here, all you have to do is go and click on the Xbox Live login button down here in the bottom right and everything should log in successfully. Doing these two steps, I have gotten single player and multiplayer to work just fine. Everything is totally normal. There haven't been any bugs, surprisingly. There may be, you know, with future updates that happen, of course, because, you know, things in compatibility. But in the moment, it works. And single player, multiplayer works. Everything is totally fine. So hopefully this helps you. And if anything seems off or you want further clarification, just leave a comment letting me know what you need clarification on. And I could also just make an update video as well. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Hopefully this fixes your issue. Uh, like I said, if not, leave a comment and I will address it then and there. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.